There is a toxic drying up US lake in California. However, it could turn into the Saudi Arabia of the world. And I'm not talking about Muslims or anything like that. I'm talking about a literal gold rush. Now, a lot of people have said, you know what? The Sultan Sea, it has a literal shit ton of lithium. I mean, it is loaded to the gills, but it's too hard to extract the lithium. Uh, even though it's worth literally, potentially hundreds of billions of dollars, it's just too hard to remove it. However, that might have just changed. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Lithium extracted from seawater. Well, it's previously been a bit more of an expensive way of extracting the lithium. However, there is a new method that could speed up this lithium extraction process, which would potentially give America an advantage that it doesn't currently have in the war to get as much lithium as possible with China. Now, this new method shows how certain particles of iron phosphate can efficiently pull lithium out of liquids. Researchers have optimized a new method for extracting lithium from widespread sources such as seawater, groundwater, and flowback water. Now, flowback water is a byproduct of fracking and offshore drilling. Developed by researchers at the University of Chicago in the School of Molecular Engineering, the method shows how certain particles of iron phosphate, by the way, iron phosphate is also used in lithium iron phosphate batteries, and they are the fastest growing, the most popular type of battery in the world. Well, particles from this iron phosphate can efficiently pull lithium out of dilute liquids, and this would potentially open up the pathway, guys, to extracting lithium from the Salton Sea. Now, if you think I'm exaggerating this story here, there is an article here on the uh, Berkeley University website saying California's Salton Sea could be the mother load of lithium and that they have said this, right? They have said, today, Australia and Chile produce 77% of the world's lithium. Australia from rock, from hard rock mines and Chile from brines that are pumped from deep aquifers to landscape scale pans where the liquid evaporates into lithium rich salts. From there, both countries export the ore concentrates and salts to China where they undergo intensive processing to yield lithium carbonate or lithium hydroxide which is what's used in electric car batteries. Such constricted supply lines threaten to, well, take hold of the EV revolution. I mean, China does have a stranglehold on the global, on the world's lithium supplies. What's needed is a reliable domestic source, an American source of lithium, one immune to the vagaries of geopolitics and hiccups on the global market. As it turns out, one has been found in the Salton Sea in Southern California, deep beneath the ancient lake bed, are geothermally active aquifers literally brimming with lithium-infused brine. How much lithium? Late last year, scientists at Berkeley Lab released a detailed report that quantified the resource at around 3.4 million tons of the pure metal with about 2.6 million tons considered recoverable under current and expected technologies. But considering this new technology, that figure could be well over 4 million. Given that the world consumption of lithium currently is less than 200,000 tons annually, the Salton Sea Reserves could power US EVs for decades. So this new method is an incredibly efficient extraction of lithium from dilute liquids, such as those in the Salton Sea. They said this, our method allows the efficient extraction of the mineral or the lithium from very dilute liquids, which can greatly broaden the potential sources of lithium. Now, Chong Lu said this from the, well, he's a professor of molecular engineering. Right now, there is a gap between the demand for lithium and the production. Our method allows the efficient extraction of the mineral from very dilute liquids, which will broaden the potential sources of lithium and provide access to sources that in the past were possibly unfeasible. The method isolates lithium based on its electrochemical properties using crystal lattices of olivine iron phosphate. 
Because of its size, charge and reactivity, lithium is drawn into the spaces in the olivine iron phosphate columns, like water being soaked into the holes in a sponge. But if the column is designed perfectly, sodium ions, also present in briny liquids, are left out or they enter the phosphate at a much lower level, according to the study. Researchers tested how variation in olive iron, iron phosphate particles impacted their ability to selectively isolate lithium over sodium. When you produce iron phosphate, you can get particles that are drastically different sizes and shapes, said PhD student and first author Gang Bin Yan. In order to figure out the best synthesis method, we need to know which of those particles are the most efficient at selecting lithium over sodium. Now, the study details how researchers synthesized olive iron, iron phosphate particles using diverse methods resulting in particle sizes ranging from 20 to 6,000 nanometers. These particles were then grouped by size and used to construct electrodes for extracting lithium iron or lithium from a weak solution, as reported by physics.org. Researchers observed that overly large or small iron phosphate particles tended to allow more sodium into their structures, leading to less pure lithium extractions. However, it turned out there was the sweet spot right in the middle where both the kinetics and the thermodynamics favor lithium over sodium. We have to keep this desired particle size in mind as we pick synthesis methods to scale up. But if we can do this, we can develop a method that reduces the environmental impact of lithium production and secures the lithium supply in the United States. Amid a rising demand for EVs, the demand for lithium, the mineral required for lithium ion batteries has soared. Current methods though of extracting lithium from rock ores or brines are slow and relatively expensive and come with high energy demands and environmental costs. In contrast, this new method is environmentally friendly, much faster than current methods, and it would give America a big advantage because essentially the United States could extract this lithium from the Salton Sea and other places in the US um, very, very efficiently and quickly. And I don't believe China would be able to compete with that. I mean, China essentially has to purchase most of its lithium from the US, um, from Australia, and from Chile. This could potentially could mean Whilst right now America is way behind China when it comes to you know, energy storage for battery farm, you know, battery farms or, or or for battery production for EVs, America is way behind. But this could change with this new revelation: extracting lithium quickly and cheaply would give America potentially an unlimited supply of cheap lithium. That's something China does not have. Thanks for watching.